welcome back to my channel if you've been here before welcome back if you're new here welcome 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 it is thursday evening today's tutorial is going to be using cricut design space and doing sublimation now i know some of you guys are like oh my goodness i'm you know so intimidated by it or i don't have a cricut or i don't have a sublimation printer I mean, whatever it may be but i would like to give you guys an opportunity to watch how sublimation can be how simple it can be how much you can up your game when selling at craft fairs you can do all different kinds of things but today we're going to do a kitchen towel from walmart that is 100 percent polyester i am not going to walk you all the way through on how to create the image I'll do that on a different tutorial because that will take a bit of time. So we are just going to pull up my image that I have created. I created this a little bit earlier today. Here is my image. So we are going to do this chicken on a towel. All right, so these are the two images that I created earlier today to put on a kitchen towel. I am going to save the cowboy boot one for later and we're just going to do the cluck it. I need to flip this backwards so it's all backwards and now what we're going to do is we're going to print this on my sublimation printer. So let me show you on eBay this is the exact sublimation printer that I have and I actually paid $140 plus shipping and this one right now is $129.95 and it has $12.95 for shipping. This is the exact one I have, works great. I will actually show you my printer in a little bit. Um, works awesome. It does take a bit to uh, switch over to sublimation. In fact, this is the same guy that I bought my my printer from. This is the exact same guy. On average, these guys are around $369. You need to make sure that it is an eco tank. It must say eco tank. Let us make this little chicken right here. All right, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. We're gonna click Make It. We're gonna send it to my Epson ST2000 Eco Tank that I have converted over to sublimation. This can sometimes take a moment. There we go. We are going to click Continue. Send it to the printer. I'm gonna turn off the bleed, wait for our printer to come up. Click print and then it will send it to the printer. There it is. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. So let me grab my scissors real quick. Going to cut it out. We don't need to have the Cricut printed out or cut it. So I'm just going to cancel the printing of it or the cutting of it. All right, it's cut out. Let me show you the towel we're going to use. And these are just the Walmart mainstay towels. So what I'm going to do is set up my Singer clothing press and we're going to press this image onto this towel. Alright, so what you're going to need is your towel, some heat tape, a lint roller, and I got this from the Dollar Tree your image, and some copy paper. Okay, so we're over here where my Singer clothing press is and I'm heating it up. 
So what I'm what you're gonna do first is you're going to lint roll it. So you roll the lint. You do do you rem you don't want any kind of lint because that's what the image will stick to. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to press it for about five seconds to remove any excess moisture. Now I don't have a regular heat press, I just have this uh, Singer Magic Press 4. I've had it for about five years. I do believe it's time for me to upgrade because it likes to turn off on me. Alright, so next we are going to figure out where our image will go. Now, make sure you don't put your image on a hot... Um, once you freshly press it because it'll start sublimating right away. So you want to make sure it is not hot. Alright. So I'm going to go to 4 in and 2 up. So I am going to be right in this area. Take my wonderful little image here and set it down put some heat tape on here do not use regular scotch tape you need to get heat tape or else the glue from the tape will adhere to your fabric and ruin it so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper, copy paper. Don't use, don't use wax paper, don't use parchment paper, don't use anything that has a coating on it whatsoever. Because what you need is an area for the ink to go to, because it turns into a gas. And it will float in the area and, and attach to other, part, other paper. So you need to have paper that will absorb it. So I'm going to put two sheets down. And then I'm going to put my image and then I'm going to put two more sheets of paper on top so I protect my placard. Close it down and since I don't have a timer on this I need to use a different timer so I'm going to use the timer on my microwave. Okay. As you can see, there was quite a bit, what they call blowout, on my first sheet, not on the second. I always do two sheets just in case. Neither one of the bottom sheets had any blowout, which is good. And now, this is hot, very, very hot. You're going to peel your tape off. On my first one, I didn't use tape, and it came out just fine. Lift it off. I actually could use that again, but look at that. Look at the detail in that. That came out phenomenal. You can see the chicken. You can see, and it's soft. It's it's not like uh, vinyl or anything because there's nothing there. It's just it's just the ink and that is it. So I'll fold it up. I'm going to close this and turn it off. So you don't need a press, a professional press, but you need something that will press. And if you have something like one of these, you can make, you can make these towels and you can sell them at your craft fair. It didn't take that long. Let me move you up. 
it didn't take that long to make it. The longest part is actually creating the design. And it's not that the creation is hard, it's the thought process of what do I want to put on this towel. So honestly, when you do sublimation like this, the background behind the chicken is makes it better. If it was just the chicken and just the saying, then it wouldn't be as, it wouldn't be as full coverage uh, image. You want to do something that's full coverage. I mean, that's a real, that's a real photograph of a chicken. I mean, it's a real. Now, uh, I do have, you don't, you're not going to see his eyes like, you know, like it's a full colored picture. Because remember, this is like, this is like terry cloth fuzzy. But, um, you get the gist that he's a chicken. You really do. And it's not that hard. So my next tutorial was, will actually be a wood project. And then if you want to know how to make this image in design space, in Cricut design space, you don't need to have Inkscape, you don't need to have a silhouette, you can create this in design space. If you want to learn how to do that, um, it'll probably be in about two weeks and I will do a full tutorial on how to actually make this. I have um, one another image or a few more images that I really want to do for the craft bears and this this little guy is gonna go to the craft bear. Total time for me on my Singer Magic Press was three and a half minutes for me to sublimate this. So anyone can do this. All you need is a little simple magic press and the sublimation printer. So if you cruise eBay and you keep your eye open those sublimation printers come along at a decent price. And you have to convert it yourself from a regular printer ink to sublimation ink. It is not difficult, just a little tedious to get it done. Once you get it done, it is so easy. It prints out super fast. The ink lasts a long time in the eco tank. And you can get all different kinds of ink from all different kinds of people. And I have heard people saying that they like Cosmo ink, Cosmos ink. That's not the kind of ink that I got. I will leave a link down below to the Etsy seller that I got my sublimation ink from. And I'm completely satisfied with it. And I only paid 99 cents a bottle plus $2 shipping. So, yeah, I can keep buying from, from that person. So guys, if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll get notified each time I upload one of these tutorials on crafts, on how to do crafts, because I do just about everything. If you really like my content, let YouTube know by hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button and then hitting that little notification bell. It helps my channel, helps me get out there on YouTube, and helps my channel grow. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a thing. I appreciate each and every one of the people that have subscribed to my channel. And to my subscribers, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I'm not giving away what the giveaway is going to be. So tell your friends, tell your family to come on over to my channel and subscribe because I'm going to do a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. And remember, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So until my next video, bye!